I'm looking for my habituation. Yeah, I, today I want to give you three different tips um, of what I share with my coaching clients and in my online tinnitus community and, um, and things that have helped um, a lot of my clients and the people I work with to habituate to their tinnitus faster. I'm Frida, I'm 32 years old from Berlin and Germany and I'm a professional tinnitus coach who's born deaf on this ear and who wears a hearing aid and who has a tinnitus for over 13 years already. My tip number one that I personally um, very often give people when I start working with them or that is also included in my coaching program at mytinnitus.club is I give them the tip that you have to be aware where you come from with your tinnitus. It's very important to, um, to be aware of what happened when you started dealing with tinnitus, maybe sleeping problems, maybe trouble to focus at work or family issues, um, or just being really anxious around tinnitus, Googling it all the time, finding out that you're having big troubles with your tinnitus. Um, being aware of that is one of the first steps in order to allow yourself to um, be aware that tinnitus is actually something that your brain doesn't constantly have to focus on. Because as long as your brain is constantly focused on your tinnitus, the same cycle repeats over and over and over again. So being aware of where you come from and what tinnitus really means for you in your life is super important in order to have the compassion um, with yourself in order to go through this and come up on the other side and be able to habituate. And why this is really important and why this goes with the last tip number three, you will learn in tip number three that is actually um, telling you of why your brain is physically able to habituate, but the, what the biggest obstacle is for you. Yeah, and that brings us to our tip number two. Um, it's very important that you allow yourself to understand that habituation is different for everyone. Everyone is on a different time frame um, in which habituation is going to happen to them. Habituation by itself, look at the other videos that I have on my channel, is possible for everyone. Everyone can habituate to their tinnitus. Everyone's brain is able to compensate and redirect the ways or in which it perceives and reacts to tinnitus, right? But you've got to understand that everyone's on a different trajectory. So when you Google or when you look on the internet for um, habituation, then you read studies that say people habituate between six and 12 months to their tinnitus. But you got to understand that these are cross-sectional longitudinal studies that include a vast, um, a vast uh, population, but you never know what the individual people had. So some people habituated much quicker probably than the average and some people a lot less quick than the average. So instead of um, being upset with yourself for not being at the point of um, having habituated to your tinnitus or where you would like to be already, um, rather focus on why you haven't been able to habituate yet and don't make it a further object of anxiety that you think that you're not on the same trajectory as someone else. So don't compare yourself to other people and what their current circumstances with your tinnitus are. It might be due to fact number one of how you experience tinnitus in the very first place, the experiences that you have made at your ENT or at your audiologist or when you were Googling tinnitus on the internet or just how tinnitus played out in your life individually, right? So have that compassion with yourself and understand where you're coming from. Make sure that you know that you are on your personal trajectory to your habitu to habituation and that it's incredibly important to not compare yourself with people. Of course, in our community, for example, we say, hey, um, I'm having trouble with this or I'm having trouble with that or people complete the course that I have there um, using principles of cognitive behavior therapy and acceptance and commitment therapy in order to get more structure to the process of habituation. But we more look like, okay, look, I think I'm facing this obstacles on my process of habituation. It's not like um, I've been experiencing tinnitus for such a long time and I should be habituated by now because that furthers your reactivity around your tinnitus and that increases the drive for your brain to really look at where your tinnitus is currently at and, 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 and that makes it even harder to habituate. But that leads me to tip number three, which is the goal is not to be scared of tinnitus 
um, in any kind of way. And that leads me to combine the first two steps because sending that powerful message to your brain that you're not currently in danger is the most important aspect of getting towards habituation, right? Sending that powerful message to your brain that when it perceives tinnitus and when you tune into tinnitus, that tinnitus is not something dangerous, not something that you constantly need to look for a solution for, then that's when your brain can say like, oh, maybe it's not that important. And I'm 100% convinced that you have had these moments in which we were sitting on the sofa or you're doing something outside where you're fully immersed in the thing that you're actually doing in that very moment. You're so immersed in it that you're not paying attention to your tinnitus. And extending that to the rest of the time is your brain knowing that it's not important to react to this, right? So the concept of habituation is you being able to signal your brain through, for example, not reacting to tinnitus, but that is easier said than done. Um, it's based on all these different steps that I, that I have been mentioning beforehand, steps one and two, and some fantastic tools that we have in cognitive behavior therapy approaches and acceptance and commitment therapy approaches that we can allow you to learn the techniques and coping techniques in order to signal to your brain that tinnitus is not dangerous, that in fact it is a sound that sometimes might be annoying, yes, but that in the long run it is an overshoot reaction that your nervous system is creating which is keeping you from habituating and which is making you feel bad. But you need to remember this, why can you not habituate and why is it difficult to habituate? It's because our brain is geared for survival and not for happiness. The brain is tailored and geared for, hap for survival and not for happiness. Let that sink in. So when you, your brain perceives that there is a problem, and in this case being your tinnitus is the problem, then of course it's very difficult for your brain to say, ah, that's okay, that, uh, don't worry about it, because you react to it in a certain way, that releases stress hormones, and that confirms that you have a problem. Right? And then you have negative emotions. Sometimes it might cause you to not be able to sleep. And then another factor comes in and it's like, oh, if only I would be able to sleep if my tinnitus is not letting. By the way, at the MyTinnitus.club community, we have a section solely debate, devoted to tinnitus and sleeping better and getting better while, um, and, and getting better quality of rest and sleep when you experience tinnitus. But in essence, the whole story finishes off with you being able to send that powerful message to your brain that tinnitus is not dangerous and that you do not constantly need to react to it. Yeah, I'm Frida, I'm 32 years old from Berlin in Germany, deaf on one ear, born that way and with a hearing aid and a high-pitched tinnitus for over 12, 13 years already now. I've been working with hundreds of people all over the world and coaching them to live their best life despite tinnitus using tools of CBT and acceptance and commitment therapy. And if you're interested in finding out more of how you can learn tools and uh, tips and tricks that can help you on your road to habituation so tinnitus is not constantly bothering you anymore, then um, check out my free guide to tinnitus. It's uh, www.tinnitus-guide.com or straight and join our tinnitus community. We have weekly events, I have online courses, weekly videos that we have at mytinnitus.club. You engage with other people who are at exactly the same place where you are, but in a positive way, not in a negative community forum way, but in a positive way, engaging each other and really making the most of life, even with tinnitus. I hope the video was useful for you. I hope the strategies towards habituation were able to shine a little bit of light. Um, keep posted, keep watching content on my channel because I'm gonna make some more videos with strategies towards habituation. And I wish you all the best now and I'll see you next video.